back to back top 25 opponents. Right. Um, life in the ACC. Yes, it is, it is life in the ACC, but at least you have them both here. I mean, just yeah. the opportunity right now for you guys to really. Things have been going well yeah. on the road. How right. Are you trying to turn the tide yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and this is the year, you know. The schedule is, it's always who you play, where you play them, and when you play them. And um, we've taken advantage of some road games that were winnable, and, and we've gone and grabbed them, um, which always gives you great confidence. But, um, you know, these two teams coming up this week is as tough as a week as we'll have. Um, the, you know, I'm not saying they're the two best teams in the conference. They are considered two of the best teams in the conference, but they're certainly two of the toughest like you're exhausted after you play them and we just talked about that in film with the team last year in Reynolds at, at, it was a big win for us we were just exhausted um, after the game and so I was trying to get my team just mentally ready for what it takes to think through the game and play as hard as you need to play I mean NC State is relentless on the offensive glass and um, you know so re every rebound is just like a war so it's going to be it's a tough week both teams are just great I know we, we keep asking them how they're doing, and it, it's all different right. things, but how much has, has that group of freshmen just grown up at this point? Are you just – yeah. has it been faster than you thought it would be? Well, I'll tell you, the, the road performances – They've been very composed. I mean, it's something as small as like Kelsey Marshall, like at, at Virginia Tech, there was a play that we called for her, and she knew it, and it develops, and it's late, and she knew that she'd get a big shot coming off the play at the end. So she runs the play, and then they jump out and they deny her, and then she just calmly just checks down, stops, just and hits a, a little step back, like 10-foot jumper, just but in a six-point game that just really made it a, made us win and um, but she checked down so that's where I was like wow like some the small moments but she could have just looked at me and said well play didn't work you know like but she really just checked down and really really just was off balance and got her balance and hit a nice composed shot so stuff like that India Banks in the third quarter at Carolina I, I just I just I told her on the plane afterwards I said that you, you yeah that was a w, I saw a WNBA player in front I mean her assists were ridiculous you know she she was almost a triple double on the road at Carolina um, just putting the ball where it needed to go and the timing and the, the so I'm 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 proud of them I think they're doing uh, really well but they've had a lot on them you know so they're either going to sink or swim with them you know. Can you talk about Erica, oh, just the yeah. season she's having this year? And what did you expect from her coming in? Yeah, I, I knew. I mean, I, I wow. It, she, I, do I want to share this? Yeah, okay. And uh, we were joking on the plane, and uh, uh, she was like, finally just turns to me and Coach Blue and says, I was just so bad, my freshman. I was so bad. Why did you even play me? You know? So we had a great moment, and um, – you know, she used to. Do, we would laugh because today in in film, Fitz was talking about someone on NC State, and he said, "Yeah, and down low, she does that Erica move." And I stopped filming. I'm like, "There's an Erica move now. Like, there's literally an Erica move." And I was like, "My baby has a move, Nate." After like, I uh, tears in my eyes. Like, what a moment. I, I can't say, <laughs> but it's just basically something where she catches and rips. But, um, and, and we just howled with laughter because we had that moment on the on the plane, and then we had that moment in film. And Eric and I are just, uh, I just she's just great. But she's worked so hard. But she she was very awkward. Like she did turn it over. She wasn't. We were you know early in her career throwing Erica the ball in the post was either something good or something bad. But now she's like passing out of double teams and stuff. So she's just really improved. And a lot of credit goes to Coach Blue. But I think Erica. She's just a special kid. She's just that's who you want to talk about when you talk about college athletics and the journey that you're on and how much better people get. Um, she's gotten so much better as a as a player. It's um, one of one of my favorite journeys, really. What is it that you saw in her when you recruited her? Then she, she talked. She talked. She she was a great leader. Uh, I knew she was very very respected in her school. She loved to play defense and rebound. I mean, her offensive game was pretty much a train wreck when I first saw her um but she talked and she led and she did the dirty little things that you need to do to win games and not dirty in a bad way but like she would get, she would roll up her sleeves and get dirty for her team and um I just didn't want to pass on such a great person that you know you had a great upside but she she really has I mean she did a that jab, jab, free throw, 15-footer yesterday against Carolina on Sunday and it went in and the assistant coach was yelling at the 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 player like as if 
you know, you got to take that away from Erica Davenport now. Now, a 15-foot jumper that they don't want her to take, I mean, right. that was all they gave her her freshman year. So mm-hmm. they definitely her scouting uh, report has evolved for sure. And what did she do? I mean, did she kind of look at this offseason knowing everything that the team had lost and just kind of did she take that, that ownership she did. step? She did. She's so focused, and she just she she would she would have Erica moments in games, and just like you know, literally like on a baseline out of bounds play, be on offense when we were on defense. Like she would just lose her focus, and she didn't have to. She had no pressure on her her entire career. She could show up, and last year she started feeling some pressure. She's always been a great leader, but she put the pressure on herself. Like she knows if she doesn't show up, we lose. Like if Erica plays bad, Miami loses, and she knows that now. So she's taken that. But she's awesome. What an awesome person. <laughs> How about a Mesa Hoff? She's doing great. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, you know. Yeah, I mean, she still limits. We, we have to limit her still uh, and practice some um, too much pounding on. Had a lot of work done on that ankle, you know. And um, But she made a move in Carolina, and I just went in the training room before practice to grab her to say, you saw, like, her hips were low, her balance was great. She had great angles on her on her body and she was quick I said you actually looked athletic and um she joked not the play where I fell on my face no no the other play you looked really really good um so she uh she's a fierce competitor I I you know I don't talk a lot about what she's going through in terms of it's just it's 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 hard to not be 100 percent. I mean it's very hard to compete and just like be you know and still but um, she's close to it and she's just battled through it and it's like um, there's always a player on a teams that make the team special. There's something they do. There's some heroic choice that they make. And I think our team, they see that Mace is, you know, wishes she was 100%, but she's always showing up for Miami um, and doing what we need her to do. And it's usually a huge defensive play. Or when the game's on the line, you know, she makes the shot. Like we go to her and she makes it. And then she's done that on the road a ton this year. She's made the, all the big shots. Katie, when you look at just everything that you – didn't know coming into the year, and you guys have been just mm-hmm. hit so hard by injuries. I, I know, Nisha too. Yeah. The latest one, I mean, oh, yeah. the fact that this team has been able to get through. Right. You don't want to say excel without it. And you don't. No. Know, but right. Obviously, they've dealt with it as best they could. And how tough has it just been losing? <sighs> You know, it, personally, you just get so sad as a human being. Like you just feel bad for injured players. You know, but you can't the over talk about it you know I I, 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 I I'm not insensitive I, I know I've, my heart breaks you know it, but I, you, you know players read the paper and you just can't go on and on and on and on and on about oh it was me how sad am I, I my roster's this my and because it it plants a seed in someone's mind and so you know what if I, if I say to the team if I didn't think you were good enough to take her minutes then I wouldn't have recruited you so here you go let's go and you got to be a little bit insensitive to it and just because you know, after the game, uh, uh, I walked out of Carolina and a, and a lady that I've known for years came up to me and she said, why aren't you guys top in the conference? You've got all this talent. Mm-hmm. You know, someone d- that just comes once a year. And I'm like, I looked at her, I just burst into laughter like, thanks. Because from her view, from watching my team, we have a ton of talent. And if you just think that way, then you know what? There it is. Can you talk about FSU playing, because uh, I don't know if we'll get to talk to you before, FSU Sunday. Mm-hmm. What, what challenges they... Yeah, I, 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 I don't... Um, I, it, the physicality of that game up in Tallahassee, we got embarrassed. Um, there's no... We were embarrassed at, uh, very early, often, late, halftime. You know, and... Um, but just being mad about that isn't going to help us make up 40 points. I mean, they, they, they're very good. So I don't... I'm not going to... I just know if I have to give a big speech in the locker room before that game, then um, I don't know my team. <laughs> 